What's going on everybody? King of Dragons 5000 here coming at you with another figure review. Today we'll be having a look at the Mattel DC Universe Classics Signature Collection Doomsday Unleashed. Well, it technically just says Doomsday, but this is known as the Unleashed version. Uh, if you remember my review of the Bound version. I'm not going to get into that right now. But here we have Doomsday in his packaging. You can see he does come with the tattered remains of Superman's cape. Just overall, really, really love this packaging. It says Doomsday right there, adult collector. This is letting you know that this is the final figure of the DC Universe Classics line. Doomsday is the last DC Universe Classics figure that we will ever get from Mattel. Unless they decide to like pull a fast one and reboot the franchise, so... At least we got Doomsday at the end, that's all I care about. But really really wonderful packaging you can see the torn cape of Superman from the Death of Superman comics and then here's a read up of Doomsday Doomsday first appeared in the best-selling Death of Superman Doomsday is an unstoppable force breaking out of the steel container buried deep within the earth he digs to the surface and begins to rampage across the countryside leaving a trail of mayhem and devastation in his wake when the Justice League arrives to try and stop him one member is a able to physically read it, get a reading on the creature. He is... He's... Uh, hate, death, and bloodlust personified. Nothing more. I really wish that... That A looks a lot like an O. But anyway, a few moments later, the Justice League... Uh, uh, the Justice League is in Stumble's bottle and... Battered and bloodied. My goodness, that... That is this horrendous text. Oh my god. Bloody and unstoppable by the unstoppable monstrosity. And still Doomsday continues on his exonerable way. The sky... You know, that is just... That is terrible font. Those A's look like O's. My goodness. Um, if you want to read it, just, just go ahead and pause it. I'm not going to, like, butcher the English language with terrible font. But it says Doomsday is here. And so glad I finally have him, bad font and all. But what I'm, what I'm going to do now is get him open up, get him out of packaging, and we'll continue his review. So sit tight, everybody, because I have been waiting for this guy for a really, really long time. So stay tuned. And so here we have Doomsday Unleashed posed out of the packaging. Now he is called Doomsday Unleashed, even though this is just Doomsday. So let's get a good 360 of this guy. A lot of, lot of nice details in this guy. Uh, not as detailed as he could be, but you know what? I do enjoy this figure, and that's all that matters that I enjoy my purchase, and there's so much to go over on this guy, so we'll, I don't know what to do first, so I guess we'll go over his accessory. He did come with one accessory. We can get it off his fist. He comes with a tattered cape of Superman. You can see the S shield on the other side. It's not, it's painted on, but it's, it doesn't feel like it's going to rub off easily, so that's a good thing. You can see where his knuckles go into the cape. And then you just slide it over this bone spur, but easier said than done, my friend. That's all I'm going to say. Nice accessory. But I don't think I'll pose mine with it, so might go into a spare parts bin. Who knows? So let's get his arm down, just so you can see how massive this guy is. Now, a lot of people have been saying he's like the biggest figure that has ever walked the face of the earth. He's not. He's only about the size of the containment suit Doomsday, which if I can move him off to the side really fast. And bring in containment suit Doomsday, and they're roughly about the same size. I'm not gonna lie. Now let's actually get your fist down. If we actually position their heads at about the same level, they're about the same size. So I don't know why people are saying like he's like a ginormous figure. He's big. I like that, but he's not like over the top huge, honking animal of a beast. But just so you can get a size comparison of them, uh, here's Containment Suit Doomsday, and here's Doomsday. You can see he's big, but he's not, like, 
over the top huge. I don't know why people are saying like he's the biggest build a figure ever. He's not. But going on, I do like some things about him, and there's some things I don't like. One thing I do like is the immense scale of him. He is massive compared to the six inch figures, and if you don't believe me, let's actually bring out the Man of Steel himself. And once again, you can see that Superman, well, only comes up to his ab crunch, so Doomsday is really, really big in terms of six inch figures. You can even see right here the fist scale. I did the fist scale with the containment suit Doomsday. So, yeah, he's really big, but he's not overly top massive. Now, a lot of people are saying, he's too big, he's too big, Doomsday was never that big. It depends on who drew Doomsday. Originally, yeah, Doomsday was a little taller than Superman, which, that's cool and all, but as it progressed, he actually got bigger. Uh, if you don't believe me, the actual DC Comics has Doomsday pegged in at about... 8 feet 10 inches. Darkseid is pegged in at about 8 feet 8 inches, so he should be taller than Darkseid by a little bit, so maybe he is too big, but I like it. And let's just go over some details. That's a really awesome face. It looks like Doomsday. It, it, you can't really tell, but there are eyes painted in these eye holes, they are covered by his bone spurs, I, I guess. He does have a tongue in his mouth, brilliantly painted. You can see his hair just flowing in the wind. That little chest piece of his, it is made of rubber for some reason, I don't know why. But you can see the bone spikes coming out of his form, there's some black marking on mine, got gosh, nerve it. Hopefully that rubs off. And just... Really nice figure overall. Not the greatest figure, but I'm happy about it. And getting the camera pose. I said, not the greatest Doomsday figure, but I like it. That's all that matters to me. I did have the DC Super Heroes version, and I got rid of it because it was too small. I do like this Doomsday. He doesn't have spikes on his shoulders, but, you know, it, it limited the articulation of the DC Super Heroes one, so I'm kind of glad it got omitted. Speaking of his articulation, he does have the standard DC Universe Classics articulation. That is a ball jointed head. He can tilt his head side to side, rotate left and right. His neck is also on a hinge, so he can look up and down. And so, a lot of nice range of movement on Doomsday, as you can see can look up a lot and then he can look down. Always good when big figures can look down. His hair is even on a swivel joint. So it, depending on how you want to have Doomsday posed it depends on you. I, I like mine off to this side for some reason. I don't know why. But arms on a ball joint go out that far. They would do a full 360 if it wasn't for his spikes in the back. Which, by the way, the spikes are made of rubbery plastic, which is a safety hazard, so they either had to do it or no doomsday. But arms on a ball joint would do a 360 hindered by the shoulder, by his back spikes, bends at the elbow, bicep swivel, spins at the wrist, and it's the same for both arms. He has an ab crunch and he can arch his back pretty far, bend pretty good, waist swivels. Legs go forward, back, and out. He spins at the thigh. Single jointed at the knee. Spins at the boot. I don't know why. He he really doesn't need this boot cut. But, you know, if it helps get him in some poses, I'm fine with it. Hinge ankle and some slight rocker. So, he can't stand flush on the ground with his legs really far apart. But, he can get him close enough. But yeah, just a really nice figure. Overall, I do like him. Uh, what I'm going to do now is get him posed for my final thoughts, then we'll wrap up this review. So sit tight, everyone. So here we have Doomsday posed for my final thoughts, and overall, he's a really nice figure. 
There are some things that could have been improved on him, such as, you know, the, adding those spikes on the shoulders, but like I said, it would have hindered his articulation, which I'm not for hindering articulation in the least bit. Uh, I really wish these weren't soft, as soft as they are, but looking at it, these are going to break off easy if they were, like, really rigid. And I really hate for that to happen. I mean, they can still come off, but they're not going to break or snap on you. So I guess it's like a double-edged sword there. It's not something I would want, but it's a necessary evil. Where do I stand on this figure? Well, I have wanted an oversized Doomsday since I started collecting DC Universe Classics back in 2010. I finally have the Doomsday, and I'm overall happy with my purchase. Granted, I picked mine up on November 26th. Here we are in mid-January, and I barely got my figure. Do I like this figure? Yes, I love this Doomsday. But, I do not like Maddie Collector's shipping standards and practices. That in itself was enough for me to want to cancel getting this figure, but I'm glad I stuck it out in the long run. Besides, they wouldn't let you cancel it anyway, but that's not the point. The point is, I am glad that I have him, and I'm glad that he is the last figure we will ever see in the DC Universe Classics line because I refuse to work with Maddie Collector ever again after this figure. Not only is he the final figure of the DC Universe Classics line, he is the last figure I will ever pick up from Maddie Collector. That is a horrendous thing. Two months to almost ship this guy. And we only get two emails about it within two months. That is, that's unacceptable. But I do like this figure. Is it enough for me to say go out and pick him up? Only if you're a fan of Doomsday and you don't have a Doomsday in your collection. There are other Doomsday figures that collectors say fit better than this guy. I think he is the definitive Doomsday figure, but that is my personal opinion. There might be some people saying the DC Superheroes one is better because it matches scale to Superman in Doomsday's first appearance. I'm not going to tell you that that's the greatest one, I'm not going to say he's the greatest one, but this is a really nice figure for display purposes. If you're a collector, you are getting him for display purposes only, and he looks great on the shelf. He makes a fantastic display piece, which is what he is intended for. If you can find him for a good price, I say pick him up. Uh, Maddie Collector is no longer selling him. I think they stopped like toward Christmas. I, I never kept up with it. After I got mine, I, I just said to hell with it. If you can find him for a good price and you want an oversized him, say pick him up. Otherwise, pass on him. For me, he was an easy pickup because, like I said, when I started collecting the line in 2010, I wanted an oversized Doomsday. And this is a figure I wanted, granted. There could have been some improvement, but I love the figure nonetheless. So if you go out and get this Doomsday, you will not be disappointed unless you're expecting a definitive Doomsday. With that being said, I am King of Dragons 5000, and I'll see you guys later. Take care, everyone.